What's good, everybody? My name is T Time. I'm a visual artist for Shreveport, Louisiana. If you're new here, uh, what's up? And if you back, welcome back. <laughs> I'm working on a um, Kyrie Irving jersey tape. Kyrie Irving jersey tape. What made me want to do this? I always had this idea in my head. Cause I say everybody started to do shoes and stuff like that, which is cool. Why well, ain't do my hair for this video? I said, you know, I said, I love to see artists thrive or whatever, all artists thrive. I would have, I was like, everybody started doing shoes, so that made me not, like, want to do shoes no more, a little bit. I said, I just got one shoe table to finish, and that's for my boy, uh, JR. Like I said, because, uh, I'm doing a certain, certain kind of table legs. I need to find a table saw. That's the only hold up with, uh, JR table. It is a table saw. I need to borrow one or buy one. I really want to buy one so for a future reference when I make more tables I can have I can make proper leg tables and proper leg tables and proper leg tables instead of uh wasting money buying what the metal the metal uh table legs that's like look like triangles I'll show you in a little bit because that's what I'm gonna put on I'm gonna put on here because I just want a visual of what it'll look like when it's standing up or whatever. So uh now I gotta uh prep this bad boy with some gesso and then I'ma uh paint it. I always use uh clear gesso. I always use clear gesso. Uh the liquid taste kind or whatever. And the only time I use the other kind is like if I'm doing a different kind of project. But it really don't matter. I say as long as you just put this on it. I say just so in if you don't know what it is, it, it's just primes the surface and like it adds a little grip for the paint or whatever. Alright yeah, I just uh put the clear gesso. I say it's whitish right now, but it's gonna dry up. Don't when you ever use gesso, uh so most of the time any gesso uh once you use it, it always like it, it'll be all white or foggish. It'll clear up eventually. Like I said, just don't don't panic or uh, whatever. But sometimes it is some just so who does, does stay solid. So just gotta do your research, do your homework. But um I said I said and then it's no biggie either, because I said we're gonna paint over it anyway. So um I said I just so finish the gesso. Now I gotta wait for that to dry so I can put the paint on it. But actually no, so I can put the tape on it first. Cause I'm gonna go ahead and tape it up. I wanna, hey, I ain't know I did it that quick. <laughs> Hey, boy, what you smoking on? Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and tape it up. Definitely not trying to put it on it perfect because I know I'm going to go, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to cut it out with the exacto knife. You know how to go if you've seen the process. If you haven't seen the process, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to make a tutorial for you. A, 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 a tutorial for you. You know what I'm saying? But right now, you got to get down with the get down. Like he with the gritty. You gotta eat ass, huh? Uh, I'm definitely not worried about being too accurate because I know, uh, like I said, I'm gonna spray paint it black, but then again, once I take the tape off, whatever, I can always go back over and like I said, make everything all even and straight how it needs to be, so. I'm not really uh, too tripping about that. Uh, and that's the only reason why I'm doing it this way, because I said I know I can go back over it with the white. You could, you know, white, certain white paint. If you got a good white paint or whatever, it's it'd be really opaque or whatever. So you can go over one good time and then straighten up, and then I said I can always go back over it like. Uh, Spray paint, and I said, I don't even have to spray it. Like I said, I could put like a like another trick, a tip you can do if you got spray paint or whatever. And you did doing a spray paint project, you spray painted something or whatever, and then you want a crisp line, you can always put like spray paint in the top or in a little cup. Like I said, spray it in there, and then like I said, just dip your paintbrush in there and straighten the line up. That's a little tip. That's something that I like to do from time to time. It comes in handy when um, when you need it. Now that I finally got done taping it all up, how I need to be taped up or whatever. Uh, bro, I said what? <laughs> or oh, whatever, so much. Um, like I said, finally take it out so I can spray paint it. Hey, no cap. Spray painting anything is just like 
always and forever will be a vibe. Finally was able to bring it back inside after it took a while for it to dry. I mean, it didn't take that long, but uh, you get what I'm saying. Uh, I, I was going to have like this a ASMR video of me taking the tape tape off, but you can hear the uh, the cellophane wind blowing onto the um, camera, microphone, whatever, the phone period, because I record on my phone. The wind was blowing onto the phone, so it really, uh, it was no point even uh, trying to do that little thing no more. Maybe next time I have uh, an ASMR video of me doing it. I really, um, I don't know why I don't like, like, taking advantage of using tape sometimes. Because it definitely comes in handy. Um, I, I be feeling like it be so time consuming, but it's time consuming, but it's worth it at the same time. So I really need to stop putting it in my head like it's a waste of time when it's really not. And then, like, it's satisfying to take off. Everybody knows that. If you ever painted anything and you have to use painter's tape... You know exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, like, the sea. I don't know. It's hard to explain. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but you get what I'm saying. If you know, you know. If you don't, hey, just, just go uh, hit the block and you'll find out. <laughs> Overall, it didn't take long to remove the tape. I mean, it wasn't that much stuff taped up anyway. So, it didn't take long. So, now I'm getting ready to finally... Um, start adding the white paint to it as you can see uh, doing this part it was like it was pretty simple like I said it's pretty easy like it's an easy design like I said it's in, it ain't nothing but me dealing with two colors and it's black and white that's it but after doing all the prepping the cutting and everything else this is the fun part. This is the actual fun part of actually making anything. When you finally get the paint. Like, <laughs> I hate the process of everything else, but I know I have to do that in order to get to where I'm going. And that's life. <laughs> that's life for you. If you made it to this part of the video and you watched the video all the way through, I, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video or if even you skip part of the video i mean like bro just thank you for coming to watch my video anyway bro i really appreciate it and i love y'all bro i ain't got that many people but it's okay we gonna get there we gonna get there for sure we gonna get there you just gotta keep pushing just got that's it bro but thank you so much and i really 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 appreciate y'all for real but don't forget to like the video and subscribe to your boy if you're new here Hey, if you're new here, you got to subscribe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when I tell y'all, bro, I'm holding my breath and I'm clenching my butt cheeks together <laughs> doing these words. My dumb man. Boy, them letters. Letters. Because I don't feel like uh going back over with the black or whatever. Yeah, they clenched. <laughs> so now I got my own... Um, I got the table in the bathroom. This is the only place where I can um, really put the resin. I mean, do my little resin stuff without worried about anybody like running to it or, you know what I'm saying, knocking it over or, you know what I'm saying, dust and stuff like that. I always do it in this little bathroom. Hold on, let me back up a second. This little bathroom, man. Hey, it's little as hell. But it gets the job done, that's for sure. Or whatever. So that's in there. That's why I always do my little resin stuff here. Oh whatever. Um see yeah, that's in there. I got my um oh, let me set y'all down. I already emptied, I already got my um uh, resin poured out, ready to mix. I'm using what I got left over. Um, hopefully, I'm taking a risk. Hopefully, um, it spreads all over the uh, piece. If not, it is that one, I can rush the micro to go get some more, or two. Hey, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Nothing but a little trial and error. Or, um, Cause like I said, I had, uh, I had like, 
Just a little bit. I got mean, a lot of them. I'll just show you. So, yeah. I think these bottles, they had a little left over, and then these two big ones had a little left over. And like I said, it should be enough. Once it's mixed into one big thing, it should be enough to the, uh, stretch over the whole piece. Should be. Don't hold me to it. It should be. It should be. But uh, it's only one way to find out. So. But, find something. But before I do that, uh, I still got to paint the, uh, I still got to paint the logo on it. A little, little, little jump man, jump man. I mean, <laughs> a little crossover dude. All right. Now, spread that booty meat. <laughs> I ain't got the best light in here. I ain't got the best little everything, but gotta make it work somehow, huh? One day I will. And then one day I'll be able to help others. Alright, so when it comes to raising, I really just, uh, I really just be eyeing it. Especially with this brand. Now, the other brand. I only use this brand. Uh, it's, this one is Enviro, Envirotex Light. The other brand I use that I'm never using again, but it was amazing. Oh my bro, never again, bro. That's the only time, bro. This is the first brand I use, ever use. And it, bro, it always do what it's supposed to do. Now, when I use that other one, when I use that other one, Bro, that was my first messed up. And then that was on the Jordan table. I don't know if you've seen that video. I had messed up the first time because the resin, I, it probably, it was fixable, but I was just too impatient and it was pissing me off and I was just making it worse and worse. I was like, never again. I said, I never mess with this one. And I said, never say never do. Come on the resin, just do a one-to-one -one ratio every time. If you don't know what a one-to-one -one ratio means, I mean, well, amount you take out the first ball, you use the same amount that you take out the second ball. So if you take out one ounce, take out one ounce on the other one. If you take out three, six ounces, take out six ounces on the other ball. You know what I'm saying? And I said, mix it. I said, Mix, 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 My name T time and I'm mixing the resin. Hey. Usually when you do you do this, you're supposed to have a mask on, but y'all live life once, bro. Nah. Definitely use a mask. I recommend everybody use a mask. I'm not using the mask because I'm just I'm already mixing it. I'm already here. Mix it for so long because, bro, this, this is the most crucial part. Make sure it's well mixed for real. You got to have the heat gun on deck. You're going to see why in a minute. Time I'm working with resin and putting resin on a piece. I always uh, buy a big paintbrush. Um, well today I forgot to buy a big paintbrush, <laughs> so I, I was stuck using my uh using my gloves, and I think I probably continue using my gloves because it got the job done, and I'm all for anything getting a job done. And if I ain't gotta buy extra supplies, then that's cool with me. <laughs> Now, after this long video, <laughs> we finally made it to the point of where everything's all done. And I decided to keep the same table legs on it. So, here go the final piece. I hope you guys like it.